Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3, and it has been yet another year, and Apple still has left the iPod Touch in the dust. So I have returned with my yearly tradition showing you guys how to get battery percentage on your iPod Touch without jailbreaking. And this time around, I'll be showing you guys how to do this on iOS 10. If you have an iPod Touch 6th generation, you'll be able to upgrade to iOS 10. If you have an older iPod Touch, this method will work for those as well. As many of you may already know, Apple did not include the physical hardware in the iPod Touch to accurately display battery percentage. In this video, I'll be showing you how to force the software to display battery percentage in the status bar even though the battery percentage itself may not be all that accurate. So do keep that in mind. You are going to need a Mac or Windows PC in order to do this. So if you don't have one, go borrow a friend's or family member's, but make sure you have permission to do so. On your computer, make sure you have two things downloaded. Number one, you need iTunes. Be sure to go download iTunes if you do not have it. Next, you'll need a program called iBackBot, and I'll have links for both of these in the description. You will also need your standard USB to lightning cable that came with your iPod Touch. This means if you use any third party cables, this process may not work. So use Apple's original cable if you can. Now once you've got all that set up, go ahead, go on your computer, go to iTunes. The first thing we are going to do is create an iTunes backup. So inside of iTunes, you will have to open your device section. And here you want to click the backup now option, but make sure that this computer is selected. That way it doesn't backup to iCloud. If you have an encrypted backup, be sure to disable it for this process or iBackup bot might crash. Just a little heads up if you have an encryption on your backup. Also, as a little side note, iBackupBot is not completely updated yet, so you might experience some crashing. So iBackupBot freezes or crashes during this process. That is okay. That is to be expected. Just reopen iBackupBot. It is safe to restart this process. Once you have backed up inside of iTunes, we can move on to the next step. Go ahead and unplug your device from the computer. We cannot have this device plugged in or iBackupBot will not cooperate. So put iTunes off to the side and open up iBackupBot. Now don't worry if iBackupBot gives you a bunch of errors. That is okay. Like I said, iBackupBot is not updated yet. So don't freak out when you see a bunch of errors. Just keep clicking OK until you get to this menu. And once you are here at this menu, look for the most recent backup. It will have a date and time stamp on there. So look for the one that you just created. Here you see my iPod Touch 6 generation running iOS 10.0.1. And once you verify that this is the correct backup, go to the tab labeled System Files. And in here, look for the little search bar up top and type in com.apple.springboard.plist. I will have this listed in the description for you guys to copy and paste if you guys want to. And once you hit enter, two files should show up. You may have more than two, but you should have only two. And look for the one that says com.apple.springboard.plist and look at the size. Look for the one that is larger than the other. In my case, 3.4 kilobytes is bigger than 507 bytes. Once you located this file, double click to open. Go ahead and hit cancel on the first prompt that shows up and you should be greeted with this mess of code. And under the first line entitled D-I-C-T, go ahead and hit enter and make a new line. Here we're going to paste in this code. I will have this in the description as well for you guys to copy and paste. You can use the yellow paste button or of course you can use control V on Windows or command V on Mac to paste this code in. You can clean up the code if you want to, at least that's what I'm doing because it must be proportional. Go ahead and hit the little save button there at the top corner and then hit the red exit button. And here's where we do things a little bit differently. Go ahead and close out of iBackabot. We are not going to use iBackabot anymore in this process. Instead, we're going to go back to iTunes. And to use iTunes, we're going to need to plug in our device once again. If at any point of this process you get the prompt, do you want this computer to access information? And on your device, if you get the trust or don't trust option, always hit trust. And on your computer, hit continue. Give it a moment and iTunes will make sure your device is connected. If your device decides not to show up in iTunes, just unplug it, replug it, try a different cord, maybe try a different computer if you can. And Windows users, make sure iTunes is installed. Reinstall iTunes if you have a connection problem. And once your device is connected, it should be in iTunes. Click on it. We will be back at this menu. 
And as you can see, if I click the restore backup button, it's going to tell me it's not available because I have find my iPod touch turned on. So I'm going to have to go to my device, go to settings, scroll down to iCloud, and then scroll all the way down to find my iPod touch and I need to switch this off. And once you have it turned off, we are good to go. So go back to your computer, hit OK on that prompt. Now click the restore backup button and this should show up. Be sure you select the latest backup. This should be the one that we have just modified. This should be selected automatically, but sometimes it might not. Click that restore button and on your device, you should have this restore in progress screen. Just give it a few minutes and you should be back on your home screen in no time. And there we go. My device is now booted up through the magic of video editing. I can go ahead and unplug this from my computer. And there we go. I now have battery percentage on my iPod Touch running iOS 10. All right, you guys, this is how you get battery percentage on an iPod Touch running iOS 10. I'll be showing you guys how to remove this if you guys do not like it in a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. And if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, be sure to slap that like button. Again, don't forget to subscribe and become part of the Geek Squad Nation. Anyways guys, until next time, peace.